Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We're looking at Google Classroom. And as you can see from my screen, I've already created a class, but now it's time to add students, to create an assignment, uh, make a copy for all of my students, um, and pretty much just kind of start using Google Classroom. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you first the teacher view in creating all this content, and then I'm gonna show you the student view uh, who will be a part of this particular class. So first thing right off the bat, once you create your class, you'll notice up at the top left, you have your class code that is available here uh, on your main page. And this is quite nice because sometimes uh, we forget it or we don't have it handy. And so this is available here for us to be able to, um, to use. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, uh, and display this uh, here large um, so that you can see that from here you can copy uh, this invite link and then send it off to your students if you want to maybe draft up an email or you can also drop this into like a Google Doc if you're sharing a doc with your students, um, etc. Okay. All right, I'm going to close that out and uh, let's go ahead and just do a quick overview of our um, uh, options here and then we're going to start creating assignments and adding our students. So up here at the top, you'll notice we have stream first, then classwork, people, and then grade. So under stream, this is sort of your dashboard, your main location. When you get into the class, you're going to be able to see any uh, announcements that uh, students have left if you're allowing them to actually be able to go and post. Uh, but this is where you're going to also leave any of your comments as well. So you can um, schedule announcements, create those, you can respond to students' posts, um, etc. So let's just go ahead and announce something. Welcome to our class, holiday cards. Can't wait to start designing with you. Okay, so let's say that that is what we want to post. I'm not gonna attach anything, but you certainly could if you had uh, perhaps a uh, document that you have prepared for this, um, or if you want to link to something, you could do that. Uh, right here in the drop down menu, I do want to show you that you can schedule these. So that means that if you're, let's say, working on uh, a Monday during your lunch hour, or perhaps during um, your uh, working hour, you could certainly schedule these to go out later in the week. Um, so um, that's really nice because you're not then in the moment rushing to get things out. We're going to go ahead and post it so that we have some content to show you here in uh, in this example. And let's go ahead and uh, just do something else. Um, um, let's see, tomorrow we will dive into Let's say the first activity, okay, something like that. All right, I do wanna point out just a couple of additional things. Here it says all students. Uh, right now I don't have any students because we haven't added any yet, which we're gonna do here in just a little bit, but you could send uh, a notification to particular students and not necessarily all of your students. So that's nice um, uh, option there. And then over here on the left, uh, I could choose multiple classes. So let's say for example, I wanted to send this to, this notification to both my holiday class and my A1 101 class as well. Um, so you could multiple select and that's a really a nice time saving um, tip there. But we're going to leave it here just for this particular um, class. And once again, we're just going to go ahead and post. All right. So now you can see there are two different posts here. So again, what's nice about this is it's kind of like the landing page, anything that you're updating your students on, they would be able to see it here. Now, as you add more and more content, you'll notice that um, the latest thing you've just added sits on top. And so it just keeps pushing everything down. So I would definitely time these so that um, you give your students um, the ability to be able to see them uh, or the chance really to be able to see them uh, before they go too far down because then they'll, they'll miss some of those. All right, we're going to jump over to the second tab up there at the top. We started with stream. We just took a look at that. Let's jump into classwork. And here is where you actually create your assignments that you're going to give your students. So stream really is more just about like a dialogue, conversation, post, comments, things like that. And classwork is where you create the actual assignment. So let's say that we are going to create an assignment for this class. 
Um, and you'll notice when I clicked on the create button, it dropped down certainly other options. So I could do just uh, some questions. Um, I can do like a, a quiz type assignment or just a regular assignment. And notice you can also reuse um, things that you've posted before. All right, so I'm gonna click um, on create and then assignment. And we're gonna call this um, holiday card. And let me clear this really quick. All right, holiday card. Um, using Google Slides, we will create a new holiday card. Okay. All right, so we can go click add and it's going to jump into again, um, from here, you can go into Google Drive. Um, and you could go do a search for the file that if you already have a file, you can certainly upload from your computer. If you've drafted something up, uh, perhaps a PDF or something that you have that's ready to go, you could certainly grab it from there. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and select something so that you can see what that whole process looks like. So I'm just going to insert um, that particular document. And then here you'll notice on this on this um, drop down menu right now it's set to students can view the file so they can't edit they can't do anything to it. But notice um, if I drop down that menu I've got some other options so I can actually attach a file that students would be able to edit so so if we were going to do a collaborative project. Um, like this holiday card where I give you access to Google slide deck and everybody's going to create their their um, holiday cards all together in one slide, then I would certainly want them to edit. The other option you have, of course, is to make a copy for every single student. So this is more around um, adding a file that um, that you've created that you've drafted is that's an assignment and you want to automatically make a copy for every student so every student can have their own copy to edit and not necessarily all be editing the same file together. So this is so everyone has their own individual file. So I'm going to say make copy for each student um, just so you can see um, that how that's going to work. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll notice if this is actually an assignment, I can assign it uh, great or I can say ungraded if we're not going to be grading it. I can assign a due date. So let's say, for example, that this is something that I want uh, my students to complete by a certain day. Let's put um, the 11th as the uh, uh, date that it's due. You can certainly add a time as well if you want to put a timestamp on that um, too as far as when it's due. Topics. So um, you can create topics based off of, for example, uh, perhaps units that you're covering um, or, or you might choose to do uh, maybe topics based off of like, let's say if I was teaching English, um, I might do it on different books that we're reading. Um, or if uh, let's say we're doing economics, we might break it up into uh, maybe different chapters that we're covering uh, from the book, uh, et cetera. So it's totally up to you, um, but you could certainly create a topic and then designate this assignment to that topic. Uh, and that's really nice because it creates even more organization. And then the last thing that you see here is uh, rubric. So if you were going to add a rubric, you can click on that and uh, import a rubric um, uh, or create one um, here if you wanted to do that. Um, we're not going to do that in this uh, particular video, but know that that, that uh, particular option is there. So I'm going to discard that. Um, and if this were going to be a document, like it's a report, you could certainly check this box to check for uh, plagiarism. Um, okay, so that's the basics of creating a uh, creating an assignment. Um, you saw it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, once you're done, up at the top right hand side, you can click on assign. Once again, in the drop down menu, you can schedule this particular um, assignment if it if it's not something that you want to show up immediately right but we do so we're going to click on assign and that assignment is now going to be posted so i'm just going to give it a second here to catch up there we go so this is what that looks like um, let's go to people all right so we currently have no students um, so i'm going to go ahead and add my other account so that um, we can uh, have someone in there and I'm going to click on invite and it's going to send them the link to that. So I'm going to click on invite and let it invite my other account. All right. So and then the last thing you see up here at the top is grades. Of course, we don't have anything. We haven't checked anything yet. Uh, we just made one assignment, so um, we, we don't have anything at this time. But 
uh, at some point, you know, when students are turning in their assignments, um, then you would start to see, you know, some data here. So uh, that's why this is MD right now. But uh, but now that we have a student, um, and if that student were to turn in the assignment we just gave them, then and we grade it, that's where that would pop up. All right, so that was just some basics there as far as being able to create an assignment and add a due date and uh, attach a document as you saw. We made a copy for all the students um, as well. Now we have one student, and so I wanna go back over to my, um, to my other account here. Uh, so these are the, like I, uh, like this is a student account that has uh, classes that in this case, this, this account, they're teaching as well as they're enrolled um, in some courses. So I'm gonna show you really quick here. Um, let's see if it already went through, but I'm gonna go to my email. Uh, and normally what would happen is that we would see um, an actual uh, email that would have come through uh, showing uh, us that we've, we've been invited to join a class. So let me see if we can, um, if that's already come through and if we can go ahead and go through the steps. All right, so I'm gonna let that um, refresh. <laughs> it's taking a second to do that. All right, while that's, while that's thinking, I'm gonna come back over here <clears throat> to um, our Google Classroom here. Uh, just to let you know, one thing we didn't talk about before was this little option here, which is for the Google Meet. So instead of having to create and generate a new Meet every time you want to sync with your class, uh, this already has the ability to generate a Meet link for you. If I click on that, it pops open this menu here. Um, so basically, just says, okay, with Meet Video, uh, you can connect with your students, uh, especially right now, distance learning. Okay, generate Meet link, uh, and we're going to make that visible to our students. So it pops that open, and I'm gonna click on Save. So what's nice about this is that for your students, that link is gonna be available here whenever they jump into your class. So let's say this was a student view they would see that link right up there at the top. So that makes it really easy to not have to constantly be uh, emailing your students and giving them the link over and over again. If they can get to Google Classroom, they're gonna have that link right up there at the top on the landing page of that particular um, class. All right, I'm uh, jumping over to my other account and it's just uh, it's just taking a second to catch up, but here we go. All right, so this particular email that has just come through I did not click on that, go away. All right, this particular email that has just come through, as you can see, here is class invitation. That is the uh, email that I've received because the other account just invited me to that class. So I'm gonna click on join to join that particular Google class. And I'm gonna say join. And this is gonna take me to the class itself. And because this teacher added me directly using um, the, uh, the people section here, you noticed I didn't have to actually put um, the join code. However, when you first go to um, Gmail, uh, not Gmail, when you first go to Google Classroom, uh, you can come to classes and then from your menu up here at the top, and let me just go back, you can go plus and then join a class. And here's where you would add the code. So if you have the code, you would just paste it right in there, okay? And that would allow you to go um, in. But let's go into our class. So this is now the student view. This is a student that has joined this class. So I'm able to see <clears throat> the assignment the teacher just posted. Remember, this shows up in my stream because it's something that's been posted, as well as those uh, posts that the teacher mentioned. So the welcome to our class, tomorrow we'll dive into the first activity, et cetera. I can open up these assignments to be able to see you know, what it is. It tells me the due date. I can send a private comment to my teacher. I've got my turn in button that you can just see was just highlighted. I can send a private comment here. Uh, once I actually go into this particular document and uh, um, complete that assignment, once I'm done, I click the turn in button and then that's gonna be turned in to my teacher. So let's click on turn in as if we had done anything to that document, which obviously we haven't, but I could have certainly opened this. 
um, to do the work. But I want to show you what the teacher is going to see. Uh, but this again is the student view. This is what I would be able to see as the student. I'm going to go back to uh, my class here to the main page. I can go to classwork um, to be able to see that uh, that assignment that I've now turned in. I can click on view your work to be able to see anything that I've turned in, anything that's been assigned, anything that's been returned, and anything that's missing. So you can see those options over here. Um, Okay, all right, so let's go back um, there to our class. Um, and the last thing up here, so that was stream. We talked about classwork. The last thing is people, obviously I'm the only one there. There's my teacher. Um, so that's why that is all we see. Okay, let's go back to the teacher view here really quick. And we are gonna go to, okay, so classwork, um, we looked at the last time. Uh, right up here at the top, I also have the links to the Meet to, to be able to get to the calendar and to my class drive folder. Now remember, I only have one student, so I'm only going to show in my class drive uh, the copy that we just made, but only for that one student. If you had 20 students, 30 students, you would be able to see uh, more folders here, but I don't have more than, more than just uh, what you see on there. Um, Okay, so under grades, now we see uh, some stuff because now I've had a student that's actually turned something in. And this is where I can then come in and be able to assign a grade uh, for each of my students. So here I would either return, you know, if I've got, you know, some feedback for the student or I'd be able to view from here the submission. So it would then take me to that student's work. But of course, um, uh, this is just the demo that I added, uh, but I could come in here, review. Uh, I could give it a grade. Let's say we gave uh, that person a 90. I could send uh, a private comment. Great job. Post. And click on return. When I return this, it goes back to the student if, uh, if I needed them to make maybe some revisions or anything like that. Uh, and in this drop down menu, you're gonna see that I could also do return multiple submissions. So if there were several, so I'm gonna click on return and that's gonna go back to um, the student. So you can see um, just kind of a little bit of the process there as far as you know all of the, the features within Google um, Drive, lots to certainly um, explore in there, but that was just kind of a basic overview of, of how to create assignments, um, add the due date, but then also when you get it, how to actually um, add grades to it. So we covered all these options up here. That's pretty much the gist of Google Classroom. Obviously, once you get up and running, uh, you're gonna see and, and, and really dive into a lot of other options and other things like you know being able to link to all kinds of stuff, all kinds of content. But really, Google Classroom is, is your management tool for using Google Drive and all of the tools within really the Google Suite um, and being able to manage them here in Classroom. So hopefully this has been helpful. It gives you just a brief overview of what um, Classroom has the capacity to do, capacity to do, um, and hopefully this has been helpful.